The whole idea about being spiritual, it's not a performance. When we walk in the Spirit, we're going to be gentle, we're going to be gracious. We're not going to be self-righteous, we're going to be positive people. It doesn't mean that there aren't times of failure, but it's important to analyze that failure and say, why? Why did I fail? And when that still small voice says in your mind, you weren't yielding to God. You took first place. You took first place in your pride. You took first place in your speech. Right, I'm telling you what, I can be negative because everybody around me is negative and I'm taking first place here. When you don't yield to God and you go before him, there's nothing but problems. A potter has a big lump of clay here on the pulpit. This potter has all the soft clay and he wants to conform this clay to his stump. He pushes on the clay, the clay yields to his thumb and becomes conformed to it. Now, did this clay have anything else that it did outside of that, outside of yielding to the master? It really did. It made itself exactly like the image of the thumb. And if you've ever pushed on clay before, especially certain kinds of clay, you can even see got fingerprints, which I think is really amazing. The clay just softens up, in a sense, and conforms. And there it is. There's the image of the thumb. And so is the clay, you and I, and we are conforming to Christ's likeness by just letting him have his way. I want God to have his way. I want God to have his way in my marriage. And I want God to have his way with my kids and with my finances. And if you do that and you bend to him, you'll be conformed to his image, just like that. Isn't that neat? When I fail as a pastor, when I fail as a dad, when I fail as a husband, and I fail a lot, I realize that it's because I'm not yielding to God. And had I been yielding to God, I would have been conformed to his image, I would have been perfect in every way, and I wouldn't have these problems. Yieldedness is very, very important.